Hey, welcome to this uh, mini lecture on composition, the rule of thirds, as shown by these two rectangles. As you can see, the red dots at the intersections of these lines, about the third of the, way, of the way across horizontally and vertically, demonstrates the hot spots for composition and the rule of thirds. Um, there are many examples of the rule of thirds in real life. It's probably best to see examples to sort of illustrate them. Here's a, lands here's a landscape version of it. You have this lighthouse on the right. It's vertically horizontal, uh, horizontally, vertically um, oriented on that line on the, on the right. You can also see the rule of thirds in real life, such as in nature. You can see this, uh, this cheetah oriented on the vertical line on the left of the screen, where the head is around the top third. You can also see it in real life through people. See uh, Jim here from the office is uh, oriented on the right on that vertical line and then his eyes are on the top third line there. Why would you want to learn composition and rule of thirds? You want to apply these concepts to your infographics and visualizations to make them as clear as possible. Um, first way is, as, as say if you're orienting your paper, your canvas, in a landscape version, it would be like this, similar to what you saw on the first slide uh, presented today. And then here's with information on it. You can see the title and subtitle at the very top sort of lined up. This is, won't be exactly right because you're going to crush some things to sort of fit them all. At the bottom, you have the abstract call to action, so it kind of mirrors the top title and subtitle. In the middle, you have the visual metaphor, what's your main visual and you have the supporting visuals and text kind of radiating out of the central visual metaphor. Just one way to do it. it kind of fits not exactly with rule of thirds, but it kind of it's oriented towards that. You can also use this for port a portrait style uh, canvas artboard piece of paper, where again it's sort of more crushed horizontally, so it's more vertically oriented. The rectangles and squares within the uh, rectangles or boxes within your a visualization or infographic. You have the title and subtitle at the top. You have the supporting visual and text radiating out of the visual metaphor. And if you have an, a, a call to action at the bottom, you would put, push that in there. That was a really sort of a quick example of some different uh, um, examples of composition and rule of thirds. Again, you divide your artboard, your canvas, your piece of paper into three sets of boxes, both vertically and horizontally. You have these lines divided equidistant, and you'll see these red hot spots is where you want to orient the major information. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a nice day.